So it really sucks when you record a video and you think you have everything down and your down computer says not saved. Well, F you too. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? Um, I had to re-record this video again. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I don't normally, I don't think I've ever done one. So we're going to do one. <laughs> um, I just want to say what's up to everybody out there and um hi <laughs> um it's been a while since i've done any kind of video um really because i went to south padre island and i had a blast and i almost got ate by a shark <laughs> which my cousin did not want to save me um no it's like weird you guys i had been to the beach in forever and then there goes a shark <laughs> Like, my cousin's like, shark, and I was like, where? And I fell, yeah, so, I could have been missing, so, cherish me. <laughs> um, what else? I am so hella sunburned. Um, I am so brown, for me, and everybody who sees me is like, oh my god, you're so brown. Um, I am like, n really, really burnt, you guys, like, that's nothing compared to what I have been through. I have blisters all over my back. I have like third degree burns, I swear to you. Um, I am peeling really, really, really nasty. Like, yuck. Like, it's, this is not even showing you what's going on. Um, my niece is a nurse assistant, so I went down to her clinic, you know, as a joke, and her doctor was like, literally, I do think you're allergic to the sun, because if you guys could see what's going on my, on my back, you guys would totally freak out, because that's how nasty it was, and I used to shitload of sunblock, and I still came out looking like this, yeah, that's not cute, and this happened to me uh about two three years ago and i have blisters all right here like really nasty and my mom says i'm worse than a damn snake peeling because it is freaking nasty i have not been able to wear nothing nice or nothing i sit down and i leave skin <laughs> it's nasty i know um i've been exfoliating really bad but it just hurts so freaking bad you guys don't even know um but, again, you're not going to be able to see my little tan going on. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, other than that, I just want to say what's up to Michelle. I got to meet her. And she was actually my cousin's friend. And my cousin, I told my cousin I was freaking bored. Because down there, I could not live down there in the valley. I There's no way. I'm a Dallas girl. And, oof, no. <laughs> I would, like, literally go crazy if I had to live down there. Um... And I told my cousin, man, we gotta do something. I mean, call somebody over, do something. Like, I talk to people that I don't know all the time, so it wasn't gonna hurt me none. And she, so she called some of her friends to kick it. And this one girl, which now I know her name, Michelle, came in. She's like, oh my god, that's funky eyeshadow. My cousin looked at me like, funky eyeshadow? What? That's Nana. That ain't no funky eyeshadow. And then we explained everything to my cousin, so it's kind of weird whenever people, you have to talk to people about YouTube, makeup, and all that, they're like, what? So the few friends that I do have here on my little YouTube land, I cherish you guys so much because we can relate and get all happy because, oh, this new lipstick came out. Like, nobody else would really understand you. They just look at you like, what the hell is her problem? Like, this is like a secret land or something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, you guys, um, yeah, so... Uh, what else am I going to be saying? Um, if there's any girls around here in the Dallas area that want to kick it, my birthday is August 10th. I think I am going to be celebrating the 11th. Hit me up with a message. Um, I'm going to be doing a vlog that night too, but I don't know which night either. Um, hit me up or if not, Twitter me at Funky Eyeshadow or Instagram me. Follow me, do whatever, chit chat with me. I'm open. So what's up? <laughs> um, what else, you guys? Um, I have to be happy, you guys. I've been through so much pain with this. It is not even funny. Um, so let's start off with my little favorites. These have been my favorites and my lifesavers forever. I had like one of these and since I've been burnt so bad, I was like, oh, I need more in my life. These are little sports bras, but they are so comfortable. They come in all shapes, sizes, forms, whatever. 
I picked one of these up in every color I could find. And these are the cheapest things ever. They're $5 and they're from No Boundaries. Look, No Boundaries, $5. If you guys were like me and wish we did not have to wear bras and just let it all hang out, but with a little support, that is so good. That is so good. And I like the way they look. They look so... Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, and they don't hurt as bad either. <laughs> um, What else? I also have been using my Crest uh, 3D strips because my boss got me into drinking coffee a lot a lot a lot and so yeah these come in handy you guys they're expensive but believe me they pay off um another thing that i've been loving so much have been these eyelashes and you can only get these on ebay but these are my favorite 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 they're so dramatic they're a little plasticky but i promise you girls if you wear these people will be like damn what do you have on your eyes because it's been happening to me a lot <laughs> and I love these these are about ten dollars or so for a pack of ten or five I think they're five dollars for ten or something eBay check it out um my favorite perfume in the whole wide world which if you haven't checked this out check it out I don't care I'm gonna be 50 100 years old and I'm gonna be rocking this the Paris Hilton perfume I love it. If you guys don't know, I used to do perfume for a long time, a long, long time. And I know a lot about perfumes. I used to get free stuff, discounts, and I still do. But this is, has always been my favorite, will always be my favorite. People are like, ugh, Paris Hilton. Yeah, well, you, if you haven't smelled this, smell it. It is the best ever. Um, what can I say, you guys? I have never gotten so many compliments with any other perfume than I have with this. So ladies, if you're single and you're seeking a man, I promise you this will get you some kind of attention. <laughs> Cause guys are always like, oh my God, he smells so freaking good. What do you have on? I'm like Paris Hilton. They're like Paris Hilton. Like people look at me like I'm crazy, but Paris Hilton will do wonders. So check these out. And guys always notice, I promise you, they always notice, especially with this. This is like, guys will come up to you and be like, damn, what do you have on? Because for some damn reason, I always have this on and that always happens <laughs> um another thing that I've been loving are these two mascaras um together I love them is the uh, voluminous million lashes or whatever and this best lash by Georgiana this is like three dollars you guys but these two are so pretty I like little spider leg lashes so these are the shit.com um let me see what else my Tintin Moisturizer from The Balm. Um, when I got this, I was like, why the hell did I get this? I got it in a kit at TJ Maxx. And it's brown with a gray undertone. And I was like, ugh. But now since I'm a little brown, um, this works wonders. It's been 106 and stuff over here. So I slapped this on my face and get ready to go because this is the shit. Honestly, I really love this. It's really light, really nice. Um, another thing that I've been using is my Estee Lauder, um, what is this called? Platinum Illuminator. This has been giving me the prettiest shine all over, especially on my face. I do wear a little bit like right here, but since I've been peeling, mm -mm, we ain't doing that. It is the prettiest ever. Um, the Dots, um, light green nail polish i wore this on my toes a lot and my mom actually wore this on her nails when we went out of town everybody was like wow what do you have on your nails you're not going to be able to see this color it is like a mix of mint green and baby blue and i promise you guys you will love it it was like what two dollars and check this out <laughs> um my favorite eyeliner for my eyebrows have been the NYC. I think this is in taupe. This has been working wonders for me. And another thing, you guys, if you have not checked out uh, using e.l.f. eyeliner, uh, the cream eyeliner for your eyebrows, they will look like, wow. I've been doing that, and of course, they're not going to look like that right now because I just got off work and blah, 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 and they've been on all day, but... I've been doing that for the last week, week and a half, and I've gotten so many compliments on my eyebrows. It's not even funny. They look so natural, so, oof, so nice. I got that off of Instagram because some girl was commenting on some other girl's eyebrows and told her to try that out, so I tried it. Um, what else? My Etsy eyeliner. I love this freaking little eyeliner. It is a little felt tip. It is like $3. It is really, really black. 
I love this when I put my lashes on. I just love it so much. Two foundations that I have been using because in the beginning of the month, it wasn't like 100 and something. So I'm, I was using the NYX HD and the True Match Lumini Healthist healthy uh luminous makeup this is really really glow like it glows so much it makes you look really healthy really nice which is not really good when it's 106 degrees outside but these have been my favorite foundations for this month um another thing when i went down to south texas you guys i was so happy because they had kmart you best believe I went crazy at Kmart. You're like, Kmart? Yeah. Well, we don't have a Kmart. I haven't seen a Kmart since I was little. But that lady was being such a bitch. It was just like, ooh. Like, I straight up got ghetto up in that store. And people were looking at me. And I didn't give a shit. And I still don't give a damn. But I didn't get to get my um, creamy vanilla eyeshadow by Georgiana. Which I used to set my um, concealer. This looks so good when you set it. Um, they sold it there, but the lady made me so mad. She was trying to give me the sign up for some kind of reward or something. I was like, lady, where I'm from, we don't have a Kmart. And she was still like, I was like, damn, do you not listen? This she's trying to get crunk with me. And oof, I do not have that. And I got ghetto. And this thing just rolled down and broke. And she told me, you can pick that up. And I said, no, you work here. You pick it up, bitch. Ugh. And I did say that. You know, for everybody who says... <sighs> that you don't get ghetto and that you don't get all crazy. I do. I have a point that you reach and if you're going to be acting like a biatch to me, I'm going to act the same way. And that lady was just, Ugh. Anyways, my cousin was like, she always acts like that. I was like, well, I'm going to put her in her place. And then she was being all nice afterwards, but <laughs> whatever. Um, things for my hair. My mom got this in Mexico. This is some kind of cream lotion. This smells so good. Leaves your hair so soft. They come in all different colors. To me, they do. They all do the same thing. They all make your hair look non-frizzy, shiny, and smell delicious. <laughs> Um, another thing that I've been using is anything that's from this name brand has been working wonders for me. I know a lot of people get the little uh, bow looking thing for the conditioner and so forth. Um, I think it's the mask or something like that. You get that on Ulta. It's like 30 something dollars, but I just get the little package. Um, I use it like twice out of that little package, just like $4. It works wonders, you guys. I have really thick, coarse hair, and I always thought my hair was really, really like coarse. And it is, but it has gotten softer using this. I got this one at, um, at Ross for $15. This is about $25, $30. So if you have a Ross, check this out. This is the Moisturizing Leave In Conditioner Cream. No, this is the cream. Check this out. I have the shampoo also. I didn't really love the shampoo, but I love this and it smells good. Um, what else do I have? Since I already recorded this and had to record it again. This is Quate wipes. I got it because I did not pack enough baby wipes. Um, I'm cheap when it comes to taking it off my makeup because it's going in the trash anyways. Um, but I was at Walmart down there and this is all they had because... The other stuff had aloe vera, and that does not work with me. Um, so I picked these up. These are about $3. They work really darn good, actually. But I will personally be sticking with my uh, baby wipes. But I just want to let you guys know, maybe, you know, you'll hit that up. And to this day, still my favorite eyeshadow um, trio is Natural Chicks Almond Satin. Which, this color right here is the best, best, best light smoky eye ever, you guys. You will love it. Um, other than that, everything's gone. Hopefully, I threw everything in there since I had to re-record this again. So, again, if you're in Dallas, you want to kick it with me on my birthday, hit me up. Chit chat with me, whatever. Hopefully, everybody's doing good. I need to go get some kind of rest and go exfoliate because I'm looking a hot mess with these. Ugh. It's just, ugh. I can't stand seeing this and feeling myself whatever <laughs> but that's what i get i guess so everybody have a good day um don't party too hard um oh and i almost forgot kat von d this um backstage bambi pick it up you guys it's been one of my favorites natural look badass lashes in this and you will be like shit like damn i look good so pick this up and i'll see y'all later bye <laughs>